you have someone that's close to you that's passed away and you're trying to access their financial assets within the US. Your status doesn't matter, i.e. whether you are American citizen, whether you are a lawful permanent resident or you're not. That really doesn't matter. What matters is the status of the person who has passed. If they were American or a lawful permanent resident or they simply resided outside of the US, the financial institution in question may take the position that a Form 706NA is required. In addition to that form, that 706NA, this is the estate tax form for someone who's passed away outside of the US. They may have an additional requirement. They may require a Form 5173, which is a transfer certificate. So let me explain them in turn. The 706NA is, as I said, it's an estate tax return. So it signals to the Internal Revenue Service that someone has passed away with a US CITES asset. Asset, and it's a 706 NA. So this person was not American. So this person, I know it sounds kind of counterintuitive because they may have been a US citizen or lawful permanent resident. But the point is, from the IRS's point of view, it happened outside of the US. This person passed while residing outside of the United States. And therefore, the death certificate, etc., all the qualifying documents, the will, whatever it is, is from a non-US jurisdiction. So they've taken the position that this person was not domiciled in the US, regardless of their immigration status. And therefore, this 706 NE is the form that's required. You fill that in and it calculates based on the value of the assets in the US that you're trying to access at that financial institution, presumably, it will calculate what the tax is due for that particular estate. That tax needs to be paid. It needs to be settled. Unfortunately, people ask, well, there's money in that account that I'm trying to access. Can I use the, the funds that are in the account to pay the taxes? Usually the answer is no, because the financial institution legally or from a policy perspective, they cannot allow you access to the financial account until the taxes have been settled. So that's the 706 NA. Once that's filed, the taxes have been paid. The IRS will then issue the equivalent of a clearance certificate, something that says that, hey, the form has been processed and all taxes have been paid. So then after you have that signal from the General Revenue Service that everything is in order, the next step usually is to apply for the Form 5173, which is that transfer certificate. And this would give the financial institution in question permission to transfer the asset to the next of kin. The application goes to the Internal Revenue Service, which it's, it's just a formality because they've already cleared their state, right? You've paid, you have submitted the form. So you've applied for this transfer certificate, which you will receive and then present to the financial institution or to the real estate broker from all, whoever the custodian of the U.S. CITES asset may be. It presents it to them and it gives them permission to transfer title from the person who's passed to whoever the identified beneficiary or next of kin may be. Unfortunately, as you can tell, this process is super complicated. Mistakes almost always happen when you try to do it yourself and it leads to delays in what is already a long-winded process. Even if everything is done perfectly, the entire process takes about a year. Now add to that, if mistakes are made, you're going to two or three years. Therefore, the solution is to work with a team who has experience in dealing with the IRS when it comes to the 76 NAs, when it comes to the transfer certificate application process. Not every tax team is experienced with this because it's a different process with a different team in the IRS from the team that you'd normally Normally communicate with for income taxes. The estate tax team is a completely different team. They have their own processes, they have their own phone numbers, they have their own email addresses, and they have their own protocols. So you'd want to make sure you work with a team who basically knows what they're doing. My name is Darren Joseph, HEJ.tax. If you want to talk to us about the process, or more importantly, if you would like us to manage this process for you, please just fill out the form below and we will respond to you within 24 hours.